I'm Lisa Joy. I'm the tech lead at Kudos. I wish I could be there to show you our platform in person, but a video will have to do for now. The first version of our Kudos catalog was paper-based and everything was managed by telephone. It was complicated and time intensive and pretty early on we realized we were going to need a platform. Our lead designer, Jonas, had a clever idea. He found an open source piece of software that had been built for the sharing economy. It was for things like tool libraries and he hired a developer to customize it and make it work for Kudos. This allowed us to get something running quickly without much expense. Kudos changed a lot. We were just an early prototype. We were still understanding the significance of the circle. Sorry, the cat is here. Uh, we were introducing badges, introducing coaching, and many other changes. We did our best to adapt the original platform along the way with various developers. But uh, what started to happen was basically our application was turning into spaghetti code. There was lots of different um, little pieces of code here and there, and the structure of the software was uh, was very hard to work with. So this summer, our developer said it was maybe time to think about doing a complete application rewrite. And when we started to look at how the original application worked and where we were at now, we, we started to see that yeah, it was kudos had changed a lot from what we had started with, and the original idea of the application wasn't what made sense for us. Uh, we wanted to, um, to really make some progress on some of the um, cha challenges we were having with the technology and that our users were having with the technology. So we spent a lot of time listening to the users and understanding what um, they wanted. And then uh, six months ago, we started building the new application. And just this past week, we launched it. And the new uh, app or the new platform has you know the ability to register from anywhere in the world. At that time, we already kind of thought there might be be a Kudos New Zealand someday, so we built it with that in mind. Um, and teams of um, staff teams from, any, from various regions can log in and see their users. Um, and yeah, I think it's just a lot stronger platform, so let me show it to you. So here's the Kudos platform. Uh, and users can see what the new experiences are, what's close by, and browse by category. I'll log in as a host. And you can see what my profile looks like. I can uh, choose different photos, uh, share more about myself, look at my membership settings and see uh, what kind of um, status my membership is, where I'm located, and I can look at my experiences and see what's uh, in draft form, what's been published, and what's closed or reopened a closed one. If uh, from my active experiences, I can edit the details, change when I'm available, or change the usual location that I host at. Here I'm on my bookings page. I can see that some experiences have passed. So I just need to go into those to mark them as complete and then I'm prompted to leave some uh, growth mindset feedback to help the Kadur know uh, how they did and how they might uh, extend their learning. Now I'm going to log in as a Kadur and we'll take a look at what their side of it looks like. I'm going to check out this experience, look at the photos, and after looking at the photos I decide it's not for me. So I look for a different one and read a little bit about this one, what we're going to do together, the learning goals, who it's for, the location. Uh, it involves conversation and I'm into that. So I'm going to request this one. Um, there's a bunch of times available on different days of the week. So I choose a couple that work for me and say why I want to do it. Uh, going to mention that I'm going to bring my mom along and then I can send that request and the host will get it. From the host side they'll see it on their My Bookings page that they've got a new request with two times that the Kadoor has requested. They can choose the best time that's best for them and when they see their experience confirmed they may want to make some changes. They might want to change the location. So in this case, it's a photography experience and, and the host wants to change it to a nearby park. So they find the address, uh, include some directions on how to meet up. And then the new address is sent to the Kadur. Um, 
and is saved in the in the, the My Bookings page for both the Kadur and the host. Kadurs and hosts usually start a conversation before they meet up in person, send each other some messages and get to know each other, and after the experience is done, they can keep the conversation going. They may cover logistics, like where and what they are going to do, uh, and afterwards they might send reflection suggestions. Anyone can register for CUDA's account anywhere in the world, uh, and if their address is in the Greater Vancouver area, then they'll be registered into the YVR region, and if they're anywhere else, then they'll be put in our database of emails, and we'll keep track of where they are, and as we start to grow Kudos, we can get in touch with them. Thanks for letting me show you around the Kudos site. I uh, hope to meet you soon.